I think this is, I just think this is a conversation that's gonna be dope. I, I, gonna fuck with this. I, I think it's gonna be a good vibe. You could try to play, but you're never gonna beat me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody and stain from the people who deceive me. Muddy ends break through the chains, go free me. Looking for change, looking for pain, pulling a mile, pushing a train. What's going on, friends? It's TJ. This is another episode of THC and NFTs. And today, as you can see, we're in a different location, a different spot, a different vibe. But I got something real special for y'all today, and I'm really excited to share it. Um, a little bit of a few things I want to talk on real quick before I introduce this guest that we got today is, is one of the main topics I've been trying to focus on lately. And, and what that is, is, is the who behind the project, not so much the what. And the what is important, but we're doing everything ass backwards here in the community. We're looking at what people are promising and getting so hyped and excited on these promises that we're not even looking at the people making the promises. When in your right mind would you fucking walk up to a stranger on the street and let them pitch you an idea and you turn around and empty your pockets into their hands just because they had a good idea? I don't know about you, but that's not something I'm vibing with no more. And don't get me wrong, I'm all about supporting, you know, these smaller projects and, you know, these individuals who want to create financial freedoms for themselves because I love this new space and the potential we got to help adapt or adopt others into this space and, you know, show them this amazing world of Web3 and what it can be and how we can own our own data. But I want us to do it in the right way. And, you know, that doesn't mean ignore these smaller projects, but... When these smaller projects with no basis and no, you know, track record come out and they're wanting you to mint at, let's say, 0.2 ETH, you're, you just lost my interest. But if, if you want to come, you know, and, and show me a strong community, a strong idea, a strong concept, and you want to uh, enroll your community with a reasonable mint price, you know, because you understand it takes time, you know, it takes it takes persistence. It's not just Rome wasn't built in a day. Then, then you got my support. So, so you guys might have saw this earlier. I, I sent out a tweet and it, it said, uh, you know, something I heard on Brian Fanzo's show, you know, NFT 365. And I'm always shouting him out. He's a great podcast. If you guys haven't checked it out, make sure you check out his podcast. That is NFT 365. He's minting an NFT every day and uh, he's going to auction it off at the end of the year in a big mosaic and uh, some of the people who mint his uh, season pass are actually going to get some of the profits from that mint. But what he says, says is people are out here building the plane while they're flying it. To me, that sounds a little sketchy. So I want to bring on a founding, a founder, uh, Tim is his name, Secret Sesh Tim. And he built this amazing Amazing event called the Secret Sesh. So, so how about we bring on Tim? <coughs> What's going on? What's, What's going, going on, on buddy? How you doing, dude? Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm man. so stoked to be here, man. So stoked to see you. Stoked, dude. Beyond excited, man. You're doing amazing things with this uh, with this YouTube channel. Um, excited, excited to talk about uh, about about what we're doing. And uh, yeah, man, I'm stoked that you're doing this stuff. It's really cool. Right on, right on. Um, so so how about how about you uh. Tell my community here, you know, a, li a little background pre, pre secret sesh, pre. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Get, tell them like, where did Tim come from? You know, what gave Tim this ambition and drive? Um. So me, I was born and raised in uh, the San Fernando Valley. Um. So so born and raised there. Um. Raised by my grandmother. Shout out to my grandmother. She's she's an amazing human being. Um. Instilled some some hardworking values in me. She raised five kids on her own and. Uh, myself and my sister um and seeing you know an individual work multiple jobs um and do things on the side really you know just to provide it, it instilled um a a sense of of hard work and and it, getting things done and that's something that i've always uh really really loved to do um so so raised by my grandmother um just just a a lover of hard work passionate about community um played played sports in high school really loved the the idea of the bonding that the communities 
um, that we were able to have with with those sporting uh, you know those, those communities with your yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like a brotherhood yeah 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 you know? a team you know it's family it's more than just you know yeah, it doesn't so, matter the blood or those anything. those things you know it it instilled that that love for community so you know I got the hardworking love from my grandmother and then you know from the sports I was able to to get that that fondness for building community and and you know brotherhood and things like that um, so those those were things that were a blessing um in my in my younger 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 yeah. years yeah yeah no I, I i dig that and um i've known you for for many years you know we were roommates <laughs> back in the day and um, yes uh i i definitely have always felt your vibe for community so you know touching on community yes there's something uh really really special you guys should know about this this gentleman <laughs> right here um so this might be pre web3 this is when we were still web Two, this is just maybe breaking into Web3 with IG and you know, other forms of a social media. But let's, let's give a, a little background into cannabis community. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was one of my, my first social media ventures. Um, that happened. Why, why did I start cannabis community? That really started because of, um, you know, I was working in dispensaries and the dispensary I was working at got, got raided and it was closed. And I was kind of just sitting home. I was like, what the fuck am I going to do right now? I don't have a job. I was like, this is fucked, man. I'm going to have to go get another normal job. Like, oh. I'm not going to be working weed. I was like, ah, this is fucked. You know, I was like, I got a little bit of money saved. I could chill for a little bit and try something. I had Instagram, you know, for myself. But I was like, you know, what? I'm going to start a community on social media and see see what what can I make of this? Can I make a business of this? Can I make Can I make something of cannabis because i loved weed man I, yeah, like, yeah, I fucking yeah. loved weed and i still had that passion for community you know, that was there um but i just didn't know what to do so we started we, we formed an instagram cannabis community uh we started selling stickers like literally little fucking mm-hmm. tiny stickers with our with our logo on it we sold t-shirts we sold posters and it got a crazy amount of support it was fucking weird like it blew my mind mm-hmm. that so many individuals loved cannabis from so many different demographics, just di- di- different cultures, all all parts of the world were coming together on this Instagram platform, all because they loved weed, and it it, it they were all supporting the the company. They were buying T shirts, buying stickers. I was I was able to pay some of my bills through social media, and I was like, hmm. That's when I realized, like, damn, this is like this could really change a whole a whole world for people. Where they could, you could make money on. I didn't know you could make money on social media. I had no idea about that, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and I had no idea that I can connect so many individuals just like that. Like yeah. one post. Oh, uh, one fucking post. Like uh, it was blown. It blew my mind. Yeah, and, and what, what was great about this is it, this was so back when when people were using IG just just to flex themselves. You know, so like here's my food. There were yeah, there was no community uh, post. You know, people were just like, exactly. Yeah, check out my food. You know. Oh, <laughs> Uh, check out my new car, you know. Uh, just got off work. Uh, woman crush once. I mean, all, it was. It's, it's all it was. It was, like 20, it, was, it was like 2012, 2013 type. Big early. flex game, and and he created a metaverse, I guess, but in a form of pictures and community through IG, where people all over the world were able to come together yeah. and appreciate the same thing that all these like-minded individuals, you know. Like and that, it it was it was beautiful. What what did what did the IG end up uh, reaching to? Um, I think it's right now. It's got a couple hundred thousand followers on it. <laughs> I mean, um, which is which is like it's, it's, that's super cool. Uh, yeah. It's insane. You know, we still it, we 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 haven't really you know we secret sesh has really been the focus of my life since since I mm-hmm. secret sesh has been created and cannabis community has kind of got pushed to the to to the back burner with that. But it's kind of the community has come into the sesh, yeah. You well, know, but the brand cannabis community or the page itself, it's like we post like funny memes and shit nowadays. You know, you keep people laughing. It became so much more. I mean, it yes, evolved. It evolved. Exactly. Cannabis community exactly. is secret sesh. Secret sesh cannabis community. It's all one family. Exactly. Can, yeah. the, the cannabis community became a real life thing. And yes. It's called the secrets. It's called the secret sesh. Yeah. People, right there. <laughs> it's right here. Okay. And and it, it it is wonderful. I mean, I love the community, and, and we're gonna get into the sesh, but. I just, I, I just needed to let him know because he's so humble about the fact that, you know, he has this page, a couple hundred thousand followers. Yeah. You know, like it was nothing. No, this is an amazing, strong community. And this people loved this page. This page was awesome. It still is awesome. It, it's just the community 
is still there and it's more of a it's more of fun and the real community has shifted into in real life. I remember Definitely. Back, yes. Yeah, I remember back when when you first started this edge. This is real life, people. What's your name? Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't tell, don't tell me your Instagram handle. Tell me your actual name. That was cool. Yeah, shout yeah. out to Adam. I, I, I always <laughs> love that. That was really, yeah. Really shout cool. out Adam, man. Love you, man. Miss you. Uh, that was fucking super cool. Can't wait to talk to you sometime soon. Um, but so with the whole idea of cannabis community, you know, uh, when you when you were doing cannabis community, um, and, and we were roommates, there there was, I want to talk a little bit about, you know. So he was a manager for Varieties for Life, or um, Life? reliable for Reliable Relief, and then fuck was the other one named Ash. <laughs> uh, it was back in the day. Uh, the Headroom Gallery. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The Headroom Gallery. I can't wait to get into the Headroom Gallery. Um, but definitely, Reliable Relief is the dispensary that's like ringing the biggest. Okay. Rise for life. That was that was uh that was Billy's. Spot, oh yeah, that was that was that was, yeah, that, that was that's why spot. that one. R- r- yeah, r- 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 yeah, yeah, r- yeah, yeah. About, yeah. Okay, but um, I've been there before. <laughs> I've been there for about weed, dude. So so, back in the day, there was this really cool event pre. What should I say? That? Pre, you know, events. Really, was it like? It wasn't like. Yeah. Yeah, and well, there was only like if you're talking secret sesh, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So there was only. There, there was no pop up. No, there was no pop up. Nothing. So I mean, I'm sure people were fucking th- getting together and session. Like I didn't. Oh, in, I didn't cool. invent fucking getting together and getting high. No, like, I would hop box my friends. I fucking didn't all the invent time. that. Yeah, like they, 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 you got five bucks. That's I got not five. me. I'm yeah. not that guy. I'm not that guy. But there, there wasn't a weekly event for cannabis. What there was was High Times Cannabis Cup and big events, mm-hmm. and you could go once every X amount of months. Yeah. There was a big event. We needed to get together. What we, what we wanted to do was something a little bit more often. Because the Headroom Gallery was closed, there wasn't an everyday place for people to get together. We need a weekly event. Yeah. So that's, that's what we wanted to do. And I love that you touched on the weekly, because the one big thing that these that high times and stuff was lacking was, was the community, because community made this event successful in the fact that he, Tim brought um, you know, consumers, and he brought... Uh, what 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 is uh the manufacturer you know people yeah, the who are making, yeah, yeah the, the whole brand yeah. and you got to interact you know with the product that you were consuming you got to meet the face behind the brand and and there was a special type of community at Secret yeah. Sesh people knew each other every week they were ex- they didn't care about the event so much they cared more about coming and seeing their friends again yep I mean they the relationships were made I know individuals that started for their families like motherfucking babies <laughs> that were literally born. Out of people meeting at the event, people that have founded companies. I know companies that are worth multi millions of dollars that they had a fucking white fold out table with their with their fucking wife and husband, and that was the whole company was was at a secret sesh, you know. And now five years later, ten years later, they're a ten million dollar company in two hundred stores, you know. And that's a that's a multiple brands. So I I love it. Yeah, that, and- I love it. that's what it's about. Dude, that, that, and that, that is so huge, you know what I mean? And, and, that's, and that's why this, this episode for me is so important because I wanted to talk to y'all about the who. And we're going to get into the what of the Secret Sesh NFT and what it's all about and the utilities because this project is definitely stacked. And I told y'all from the get-go, before he was leaking all this alpha, I knew <laughs> this man and I knew what he stood for and what he was going to bring to the table. Because at these events, not only at these events, he made companies give out free product to individuals. Do it. Just you, to get a table sometimes, you had to give out free weed. <laughs> Who does that? You know, it, it, that didn't benefit him. That benefited the community. This man is community driven. He lives weed is greater than me. And it. Oh, oh, oh. oh. I, I, got, I got an alarm, people. Hold on. Hold on. This work, too. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Say you got an off day. That's, a, <laughs> that's fucking new, Ooh. huh? Shit. Oh god. No was, off days for this guy. I was waking up from from break right now, going back to work. <laughs> but yeah, no, this this man lives. We is greater than me, and if someone could be an example of you know living your passion and having it reward you by giving you financial freedom, this man is a prime example of that. <laughs> I, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate it. Oh, the kind words are very appreciated. I mean, yeah. 
I'm not here just to hype you up. No, no, no. You you can hype me up. Yeah, you tell me the truth, man. I've li- we literally lived with each other, so it's there's no like uh, there's no need to gas anybody. Um, but I appreciate it. You know, it's it's. I've learned. Uh, I haven't always been like, hey, community. Sometimes it was in the beginning, like, yo, I'm trying to figure out how to how can I benefit me. But then it's like you realize that doesn't work. Like it just doesn't work, bro. Like it dead ass does not mm-hmm. fucking work. You need to benefit everyone else. That's what works. Yeah. Like it, giving giving you value and allowing you to be in a position to uplift yourself. You can uplift ten other people, and that's going to help me, you, those ten people, and then ten more people. Like it's 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 a it's a snowball, you know. And that clicked for me when I saw individuals making relationships where they they came as an attendee, and now they were they had a job, and now they were fucking starting their own company. And I was like, oh shit, there's like. This is opening doors for everybody. Mm-hmm. That's where it's like, fuck what I want. Fuck anything about me. Because I, I'll, get, I'll, I'll, I'll get mine because everybody else is getting theirs. Yeah, and that's, yeah. that's what it's about. Because yeah. they can, if they're at the top, they can help lift me up too. Yeah. But they can, no one can help anybody if we're all just fucking moseying around doing nothing. So bringing everybody together and getting everybody's heads together, working. And it's, it's not even about necessarily uplifting yourself, right? It's about having that one conversation that you don't know what door could open for you, the person that you're talking to. You might, we might just have a conversation. It might do nothing for me, but you might just have an idea in your head that went off because we had that conversation that mm. changed your whole fucking life. Mm. Mm. That's sick. Like, that gets me excited about life. Like, I just, I, I get excited about that one conversation away from your life changing literally one conversation like that's that is not a myth that is not over exaggeration that is not like some weird the secret book i believe in fucking if i just think it it's gonna happen that's like dead ass fact like one conversation can change everything and that's why i love networking do that that is so beautifully said right there i mean so love it so well said again Brian Fanzo, I'm going to have to shout you out here, man. <laughs> so he always talks about yeah, putting yeah. the right people in the wrong room. Okay. And putting uh, the, wrong, or the wrong people in the right room. Okay. Okay. And, I like that. And yeah, that yeah, yeah. right there, what you just touched on, you know, this, this whole ability of not knowing, you know, you're in the right space. Yes. The, you know, you could be in the right space at the wrong time. Correct. Or something, and, and something just clicks. Yep. But that's going to carry over, you mm-hmm. know, and that's going to help innovate and create, you know, yes. the future. And, and yes. That is amazing right there. The possibilities of networking, like you were saying. It's- yeah. It, 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 networking is literally my favorite thing because, again, it's just limitless. Mm-hmm. Like, it's literally limitless. It, it, it could lead anywhere. And that's, it, it, how does that not excite you? As, yeah. as a human being, how does that not excite you that the possibilities are limitless? Because it's just, it's a conversation. And I can have a, I don't know who I'm going to have a conversation with at, I try to go to these NFT events or I try to have these conversations with, with people like yourself. I don't know where it can lead. And it's, that's what the secret sesh is about. It's about creating those opportunities and putting all these people who like weed. That's one thing we all have in common. We all like fucking weed. Let's all talk now. That's, that's all. That's yeah. my job is put a cool last place for people to talk. And, and what, what you've done is, is what a lot of these discords and projects, so they're claiming community, but what they're creating is a network. And, and there's a big difference I want to yeah. explain between network and a community. I want you, both. Y- okay. Yes. I want both. Yes. <laughs> and, and that's what a good project should have. Because yeah. a network is like a Rolodex. You, know, you can pull a number, call, you may hit, you may miss. Yeah. A community backs each other. They support each other. You know, they are creating ideas amongst each other. Boom. And, and yeah. they're thriving together. And being able to combine networking and community together properly and having it work is very tough. And it takes time. So that's why this is so important that, that I'm expressing how much I care that the Secret Sesh event came first. You know, this is yeah. huge. Yeah, you know, that, that, I think that gives us, a, I don't know, a stamp of validity or a you know, um, a leg up because, you know, we're not trying to necessarily fundraise, you know, the men to, to then prove that we're going to do something. 
Yeah, there's no Kickstarter here. No, you know, and <laughs> hey, I fucking support those projects. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. I love oh. minting with someone who's got a sick vision and their team is doxxed and they like, I believe in that project. Let's ride. Dude, you should see my back. Let's fucking ride, <laughs> yeah, you know? Yeah, this- but I really fuck with a company who's established, mm-hmm. who's coming over to Web3. And not just jumping into Web3 and throwing out some dog shit PvP project with nothing behind it. I think that's, that's shit. But if a company's going to be well-established, they're going to be a part of the Web3 culture, the NFT culture, and they're going to do it the right way. I think that that puts them in a really unique situation because they're not, like you said, building the plane as you're you know, jumping, out, jump, <laughs> jumping and fucking skydiving. You know, you're... you're Already have the plane built, you know. You're fueling up, like you're flying, dude. Like, yeah. we we've got ten years of these events successfully under our belt. Um, we don't need to fundraise, you know. We're we're throwing events now. I just had an event last month, you know, an IRL event with two thousand people there, and it was fucking awesome. And that was no NFTs, you know. And mm-hmm. and the NFTs is just going to expand our community and allow us to network more and offer value to more people and. Just, I can't wait, man. I, I just more doors, more yeah. doors, dude. Let's 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 have more conversations. I've met so many people already in our Discord. Like right now, I'm looking at my Discord. There's like eight people just in VC, just chilling, talking, yeah. just having conversations. That's so cool. I mean, people just, right now, yeah, just like like we're chatting right now. They're chatting. That's like I could turn the audio on to them, and we would hear them talking if on my on this recording. <laughs> so, <laughs> I had to mute it. I had to mute it. That, that's rad. That's that's rad. That's rad. And and yeah, I mean, I I. I, you know, first, I'm, I'm in a lot of discords. I, I do a lot of research, and it's because I want to help educate. So it's really refreshing when I jump into discords like uh, Secret Sash NFT, and, and I see more than just the typical GM or, you know, yeah. or, it, yeah, yeah, it, there, there's actual real conversation. There's people, the project hasn't even released yet, and there's people in there giving these people educated, you know, information on how to, on how to, you know, I'm saying on how to grow weed. You know, yeah, you know, no, that's that's cool. This is a weed project. We, we fuck with that, and <laughs> and you can go in there, and there's people right now that are willing to help educate you. And this, some of these people, I don't, I'm not going to name drop because you know they don't want to dox themselves out. But oh, but there's some educated motherfuckers in these groups. I'm talking like the top, the, some of the best growers in California. Period. Are, are, are having conversations and giving free game. <laughs> just free game, bro, about, about growing weed. And just... Where, do, who does, where, where does that lit. happen? You can't walk into a club and be like, can I talk to your grower? <laughs> bro, could, you, could you imagine? Like, hey, could you show me how you run this? <laughs> hey, it's... And it's, those... You know, I don't cultivate personally. I have a fucking... I, I, I don't have the green thumb. I just don't have it. Um, I kill weed plants. So this is <laughs> the kind of thing I do. I'm better at smoking it. But there's a lot of my friends are, are big cultivators mm-hmm. for a lot of fucking brands that y'all all smoke. And they're hanging out in Discord, chilling on their time. They're chilling in the garden, vibing. That's fucking rad. So it's, it's cool, man. It's super uh, cool. I, I, so what, what I want to talk about now is, is the whole reason why, why we're here for this episode, you know, is um, the Secret Sesh NFTs. And, and I, I, I came to the source for y'all. <laughs> I drove to the source, and and this is my my, my first. Is that my motherfucking house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is my first interview. I could have done this over Discord. I could have done this so many different ways, but no. I I love community. I love IRL, and I I love anytime I get a chance to interact with yes. another human being in person. It's it's something that I would never want to you know trade for anything. I, I love human interaction. It's it's getting really rare nowadays. You know, just this organic, Thanks. organic you know communication and having yeah, real man. real talks. You know, heart to heart. It's it's rare. So you can feel you could feel the 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 conversation a little differently. You mm-hmm. know, when you're right here with the presence of someone, rather than you know, you can have a pretty pretty in depth conversation with people. You know, it'll be a Zoom. Yeah. Or, VR chat or some shit like that, but a little different. A little different. And that, and that is and that is cool with the ability of Zoom and VR. This new, yeah. you know, it's getting this, close. It's yeah, getting yeah. Close, we're getting we're close. getting you know haptic feel. Almost like we're in the presence. In there. So yeah, Tim, can you just can you dive a little deeper? Let my community know a little bit more about you know Secret Sesh NFT and why you created this project. Yes, definitely. Um, so Secret Sesh NFTs, <clears throat> we want to do you know, continue to be on the forefront of innovation 
Secret Sesh has always tried to to be leading that that innovation, be it with our events or what we're doing. And Web three is the next frontier. Um, digital events are are going to be something that that I believe are going to be massive in the coming years. Absolutely. Um, and we're an events company. That's mm -hmm. what we do. We throw events. Um, so we're we're not just going to sit in, on the sidelines and watch it happen. We're going to dive in and and be a part of it. Um, so I I've become a fan of NFTs. I've become a collector of NFTs, um, and I really, you know, saw saw the potential of expanding those communities and that networking ability for Secret Sesh. Um, and I really wanted to to you know take my time and dive into it and and just see what was going on with the space and how Secret Sesh can can do it in the right way. Um, I didn't want to just say, hey, here's a profile picture project for Secret Sesh, give me some money. The mm -hmm. last thing I wanted to fucking mm -hmm. do. Um, and I'm shout out to PVP projects. Y'all are dope as fuck. Like, I'm, if you're just art and people fuck with art, I think that's cool. I just didn't want to do an art project because I'm I'm not uh, an art collector or I don't have you know a, a fancy you know desire to to produce a, like one of one art. Mm -hmm. That's that's not me. You know, my passion is what we talked about. It's community and networking. Um, that's what I wanted to bring to the NFT space for Secret Sesh. And that comes in the form of um, utility value um, with access to our events. So the core utility for, for our project is you get lifetime access as long as you're holding your Secret Session of Tea. It is your ticket to your registration to all our events. Um, so you're able to, if it's a, you know, event in Miami, in New York, UK, California, wherever it is, your NFT will now be your registration for these events instead of going and having to purchase a a ticket or a membership to our events. Um, and then on top of that, what we wanted to do is provide, you know, utility in the form of discounts on cannabis and cannabis accessories from a lot of these partnerships and brands um, that we've made with, with the last 10 years of, of our events. Um, you know, like with Moxie, um, we're, we're offering discounts on their cannabis products across five states. Um, dispensaries like Green Wolf and Mother Nature's Remedy, you can walk in and you Show that you prove that you're, you know, via your MetaMask that you have a secret session of tea, you're going to get a discount on your, your purchase. Um, and it's at Green Wolf, it's 15% off, you know. And that's that's huge. You walk in there, and I mean, if you if you order eight grams of rosin, you get 15% off, you do the math, you know. It's going to start really stacking up, mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. that's real value. And that's the type of thing that you, you would be expecting to get at a secret session event anyways. And you would go there, you would get it direct from the manufacturer, the, the cultivator. You'd get a better deal. We're trying to recreate that in Web three by getting people that secret sesh deal yeah, yeah, that they yeah. would be used to in the IRL events. The tangible, yeah, because yeah. that's I, I want to create that real value for mm -hmm. people, um, and also having some badass art. You know, we have some dope ass fucking art. Yeah. But again, with the art, we went totally different. We didn't want to just do a shoulder cropped above body PVP one layer couple traits. I I love that. I got a bunch of shit. I got mutant apes. I got doodles. I think they look sick. But I wanted to do more. So we went with a full-bodied, you know, human-like person where they have multiple hand traits. They got full outfits, clothes, pants, shoes, hair, hair colors, eyes, mouth, like all everything, man. Like we have a fucking crazy, crazy 2D art. And on top of that, <laughs> but on top of that, oh. I wanted to go more because there's the 2D set of things with all these IRL utility benefits, our IRL events, our IRL cannabis uh, discounts and all that stuff. Then there's the metaverse stuff, mm. and that's the whole other side. So we're we're if you if you mint your two D session, you're gonna get a free mint. You pay the gas, but it's a free mint, no extra mint fees. Um, you'll get a, your three D version of uh, it would be a random three D year, but it it'll be a three D session. So and that'll be metaverse ready. So you'll be able to take that and go into our environments and. That's for be the, your be your profile picture. All the intangibles that yeah, you, and then so so the three D will be tied to your your metaverse utility. Mm -hmm. So that'll be your ticket to our digital events. So if you want to come to the Ses, this this the Secret Sess Mansion, mm -hmm. that we're already going to have access for our four twenty event. You listen up, people! Like it's alpha. literally coming like now. Instead of it's not like on the roadmap. Q seven, <laughs> fucking in Narnia. It's coming. Like, no, like, we're going to do this shit, like, next month, dude. Like, the world's done in four days. In four days, like, from now. Today is the 6th. By the 10th, I'm going to be able to take... I could take you in there on the 10th. That's and so we can hype. look at everything. That's so high. I and can't we can, wait. We can play pool. We can play darts. We can play cards. 
Like we can oh. hang out, chill, have conversations. Like right now. But that's well, am I hired at something? Uh, the weeds hidden. Some did some back there. But we're gonna be able to do stuff now. And that's I think it, it it's it ties it all back to what we were talking about before. It's we're not building the plane, the plane's built. Yeah, yeah. Like like we're we're moving already. Like if, if there was no NFT project, Secret Sesh is still going to throw events. Mm-hmm. We're still going to have Secret Sesh cannabis products. Like we're still going to be an operating business, even if there wasn't an NFT yeah. thing. The NFT thing is just going to expand our ability to network and build this community and offer value to more. So it's 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 not like a lot of projects where you know, like you said, it's like a kick a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. Which is great. But but we're already there. Yeah. You know, we can offer utility like right now. We have discounts <coughs> out right now, pre mint. Mm-hmm. I don't even care if you own an NFT. You can get you, there's utility that you can use now. If you just go on our Discord, yeah, yeah, yeah. click on utility. There's discounts you can get right now. That's just just for joining. Discord. Just for being in the Discord. That's like who does? No trying one to do it. Just trying to do it different. No one does. You know, and and this, this is this is so cool that you know because. You know, you talk about the, the tangible utility, and then we talk about the untangible utility <coughs> with the Web3, you know, Metaverse uh, 3D avatar that's going to come with your NFT. And, and to me, I love tangible stuff. Don't get me wrong. You know, just like the next person, things in real life that you can physically grab are so cool. But what a lot of people take for granted are the untangibles. You know, the, the lessons you can learn from these from one on one talks like this and the potential if you are, you know, in the cannabis industry, or if you're trying to become involved in the cannabis industry, just like in Secret Sesh, the original event, a lot of these people got their starts there. You're going to have the same opportunity in this metaverse, you know, a really good point, honestly. And, and, and I. I should be a consultant for this man because I guarantee you he's going to want to use this afterwards because the potential for him to create rooms in his Discord that has exclusive content or exclusive classrooms where growers share knowledge to the community members that hold yeah. their NFTs to learn how to start from rock bottom. To, you know, There's legality. There's down to the soil, down to the light, down to the p- distrib- distrib- distribution. All these features, this man knows from networking and building a strong okay. community, the possibilities of when you mint this NFT of what you could have in, 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 in this Discord and what, what you're going to have access to, the knowledge, is, is, is amazing. You know, let alone the tangible stuff. Yes, the tangible stuff is cool. But let's grow together. I like this. I, li- I like what you're touching on a lot. You know, like that uh, stuff that, you know, it, it's not that I overlook it, um but i just like kind of like group it like oh it's it's that's that's happening when i say like uh the community's mm-hmm. networking and stuff like i just kind of feel but when you really really say it like each individual thing like that that could be so huge for somebody who who like where there's a section where maybe it's for growing but it's more so what if there's someone who just wants to work in can exactly and then there's somebody who because i know i know people that in cannabis that are hiring like low-key all the time and it could be a position from trimming weed to packaging weed to a cultivator to Mm -hmm. whatever it is and at the end of the day like i got my start in weed i was fucking wiping the counters bro like that's at 18 years old my job was to clean the fucking the the the, the dispensary that was my job there's so many jobs in canada that was my job was to clean the fucking dispensary and like get snacks and coffee for people like that was (laughs) the fucking bottom dude you start anywhere you start wherever you can in cannabis Mm -hmm. because it's it allows you to get that foot in the door and i think Secret Sesh has provided that IRL, and it can also provide that in the Web3 space, be it working in IRL cannabis, yeah. and we connected you somehow there, or we connected you with a fucking boom right now. There's going to be Web3 cannabis jobs. Yes. Bro, I didn't even think about that. I've been preaching about There's going to be Web3 yes. cannabis jobs. Yes. Like right now, I, have to, I need to hire somebody for our digital event, just Alpha, that's going to run the delivery service that's going to be active there. There it is. There's going to be a yeah. blood tender at the event because if you live in Los Angeles or California and you're at our event, you can order fucking legal weed there. Mm-hmm. And our, I'm talking in our digital event. You're going to be able to order through a real delivery. I'm ordering some weed. To- yeah. Got- you will have to live in California. Obviously, you can't be in fucking, you know, a different state or some shit like that. Well, this is the first, you know. But, 
Hey, it's like it. just the, the fact that it's happening is yeah. insane. Even if one person ordered it, we're going to be able to say someone ordered cannabis at our digital event and got it yeah. delivered. Like they're going to be in their VR fucking headset, chilling, and then someone's going to knock on their fucking yeah, yeah. door. Oh, this is gonna this, this this might stir up the community, but this is gonna happen. This is gonna be huge, and and Heck, it's cool. That's fucking huge, and the job aspect. I mean, imagine walking into a metaverse, you know, and you go up to a whiteboard and there's listings for cannabis jobs. Be cool. You're like, what? That that is networking and community, you know, being brought together and understanding its value. Facts. And, and I'm 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 so so. So hyped on this project. So, <laughs> so I, this is, I don't know, the fourth, fifth video I made of Secret, okay. of Secret Session. Damn, they might be getting tired of us. Uh, <laughs> I, I, My I, bad, y'all. Uh, I, I'm, when, I'm, when I'm hyped on a project, you know, I, I'm really hyped. And this is my first interview, but I plan on doing... Oh, you know, is it actually the first one? My very first interview. Dude, that's lit. Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. And, and I'm, <laughs> Number one. And I was really stoked to do it on a project yeah, I am cool. passionate about. I mean, my name is THC and NFTs. Thanks. And, and the reason why I vibe is I like to get faded. And sometimes I don't... You know, when I work 60, 70 hour weeks, I like to chill at home. But I don't always want to be by myself. So I communicate through Discord. I communicate through Twitch, you know, all these other forms of social media. It allows me to uh, to be amongst my friends and, you know, uh, people that I can have genuine conversations with. And these conversations just typically happen to be about marijuana. <laughs> that's what I like. Hey, that's what a lot of us like. You know, and, and it is definitely a vibe, you know, so I'm, I'm really stoked. I love sharing, you know, real. You know, Screw, you know, the weed in general, you know, this man, this team, not just the man alone, the team behind this man is strong. Tone. Let's talk about Tone. Tone, man, I watched Tone go from Tone's our vice president, too, by the way. Shout out Tone. Man, I wish you were here. Um, But yeah, this man started off as, he was the camera guy. And he was so loyal and he, he knew the sesh was going to be big. I think he knew before Tim knew. <laughs> you know, this man was, was about it. And he was driven and they, they grew this amazing event. And now they're growing this amazing project with an amazing community. And it, it's, let's, let's not, like I said, let's throw the weed out. These people know how to throw events. And what is the metaverse? The digital event, can essentially, right? They're gatherings, man. you know. That's what they are, you know. And events are, it's it's leads to to my passion, you know, the networking. You know, that's that's why I throw the events so I can I can pursue my passion of talking with mm-hmm. more people and opening those doors. Um, events will always have a place, be it in the digital space, be it IRL. Events will always have a place. They've changed lives throughout history, the entirety of history gatherings of humans and and the 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 coming together of minds have changed the course of history and it'll continue to happen in web three it'll continue to happen web four so on and so forth and us throwing events we get to curate and bring together those those people and those those experiences so people can have those conversations that change change history that's fucking insane yeah literally insane that's literally insane that, that I, I, I can, and our team can create a space where people can come and have conversations that maybe something they fucking do changes the outcome of the entire cannabis world. That's maybe so just huge. the entire world in general. I don't know. That's huge. And it sounds crazy when you say things like that, but it's literally, I've seen it happen over the last decade, just in the cannabis side of things, where, where conversations were, were spawned 10 years ago, and they're fucking multi-million dollar brands now. <laughs> like what the fuck mm. happened like it's crazy so what's going to happen in web 3 now when, when we when we curate these these who knows well, who mm. fucking knows and that's i'm forever excited about that yeah like, forever excited about that. And, and another thing i want to touch on real quick I've, he, he mentioned this about uh jobs in the metaverse yeah and i really you know when i started hearing about all these projects and they they want to have you know their own metaverse their own storefront you know they might have their own uh, hotel or, or whatever it be 
I, in my head, my, my head just started spinning, you know, and I'm like, I'm like, where's the greeter? You know, they're going to need someone to stand at the door and greet people or, Facts. or you know, they're going to need a receptionist. You know, they're going to need someone to, uh, so, like, yes, we can have it all be automated, but at the same time, we can also have the interaction still, you know. It, it, it is uh, it is dealer's choice. Have you, yes. seen the, have you seen the Subway thing yet? No, no, no. no. Oh, oh, man. Align you're, me. You're, what, you're what, about what? to trip out when you go look at this. So Subway has been building Subways and Metaverses and dropping actual Subways everywhere, and they're hiring people right now. You can go work at a Subway digitally. No and way. And you order the sandwich, and you can choose to have these these subway delivered, or you can pick it up in the store. But you can order it. That is cool. And you that, can literally work at subway right now, and in, 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 in the metaverse, you can work at a subway in the, in metaverse. the metaverse. Yeah, and get so paid. Get paid ETH. You could be a sandwich artist. Yes. In the metaverse. Or yes. ETH. Yes. That dude, today. Like, today. <laughs> That's so the jobs are already there. That is so they're hot. here. They're here. And so subways, hot. you know, it's. Oh, they're, they're probably losing money, yeah, but they're not. But they're, do, do, but they're doing. That is innovative. Why is no one talking? They're doing like, it. like I haven't heard that enough. They're I mean, doing it, dude. I, I mean, people. We are in a position to change our future and take back control of our freedom, our financial freedom, Literally. our our data. You know, we don't have to share our data with all the big three no more. You know, this can we can control our data. You know, facts. And, and yes, we are very far out. I'm not saying this is no. going to happen tomorrow. No, man, this might not happen for years. Our kids will definitely be, you know, if this stays up the way it's going, our kids are going to be living in Ready Player One. Yes. I mean, we, that's... We, we may see it, um, but it's going to take time, you yeah. know. And honestly, it may happen much faster than we're even able to think of it right now. Because you also got to just think the rapid evolution of technology, right? It compounds almost. Mm -hmm. It's like the advancements that's happened in the last 10 years compared to the 10 years before this. Right. You right. know, it's just leaps and fucking bounds. Yeah. Like, it starts getting weird, man. Like, how like fast... Megabytes of storage went how, down with a little squ yeah, yeah, shit starts getting way fucking crazy with tech, so it's... I, I don't know what's going to be it could here be in out five already. years. I, mean, I don't know. Like, like, in five years, it could be fucking weird, man. Like, you might not be able to tell the difference when you put your fucking headset on. I don't know. I mean, there, there is it closed off VR tech. Like, like, you know, oh, for sure. Dude, there's some shit right now that some other countries have or fucking the U.S. government has that's fucking scary. 100%. Scary realistic. Yeah, for oh, sure. When do, you, when do we get it? I don't know. A, there's a, AR has been a thing pre VR. AR is cool too. Yeah, I think AR AR is definitely gonna gonna play some play some cool roles. Oh 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 yeah. You know, like, have you seen the space the space doodles? They just released their their AR fucking I, I, uh, I was, filter. I was checking out when you when you told me about your space. I had yeah, to go yeah, check dude. out a little. Check, yeah, they're, 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 they're cool. They're cool. You know, and that's and that's what's awesome is that we have so many of these creative minds in this in this space. We are rebuilding the world in our vision, yeah. and, and it's not it's. It's none of this black, white, brown, yellow, you know, no ethics. You know, we are all out here living a digital identity and let's, let's <coughs> create something new and beautiful and all inclusive for Thanks. everybody. You know, this does not have to be the space our parents created for us no. that, you know, that is filled with war and, and violence. And, you know, there will always, yes, there will always be, you know, negativity and, and there will always be, you know, people who don't agree with your ideas, but we can change the way we approach or the way we go about, uh, you know, I guess, reaching the way we feel or talking. Yeah, about we're like we engaging in the conversation exactly. with them, you know, like you can't like in, right now it's so tough to have like a, a debate with somebody or like you disagree with somebody. It's, it's, it's a lot of closed off mm -hmm. arguments or closed off conversations. You see it from my side and that's it. Like it's the, 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 the art of debate is lost in today's society where either if we disagree, we're, we're just not friends, yeah. dude. Like, fuck that. Like, nah, man, I, I don't subscribe to that shit. At all. <laughs> right. Like, you, know, you can 86 that. Yeah. Or, you can view one thing one way and I can view it mm -hmm. another. And if as two fucking human beings, we can come to an agreement that like we don't have to, it'd be weird if every human agreed on every fucking thing. That shit would be super odd. So boring. Yeah, so so it's like, but you 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 have to be able to agree to to disagree, you know, and that's that's exactly. lost. You can't do that nowadays. Like it's literally fucking lost. 
blows my mind. Yeah, the in-person ability to be able to tell someone you don't like their idea and for them just to take it be like open-hearted. Okay. Yeah. yeah, or have a debate about it and maybe have their mind changed about it. That's not allowed. Oh my know? god! Like it's and it's like it, it's weird. It's, I would like that to come back in Web three where you can have those conversations. And, and I feel like it, it, it. You can have those conversations. Like, it is definitely something you know that is. I've seen more of an inclusivity of people being willing to have yeah. their minds changed. Yeah, 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 definitely. Because I don't know, I fucking don't know a lot of shit, dude. Like, I don't fucking know a lot dude. of shit. So often, I'm I'm looking forward to someone to change my mind on something, like educate me. Like, I I no, I don't have an ego about it. Like, let's fucking. My opinion is just an opinion based on the fucking things I I've experienced or know. If you have experiences or knowledge that can educate me or or tell me something that's that's to the contrary i'd love to fucking hear it you yeah, know right, like, right. i don't want to be ignorant to a subject dude we're, 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 you know? it's like we're new here Brit, you know fuck yeah i i want this space to evolve for my my daughter my daughter is five she is here with us literally i'm still running yeah. around and, and i i am so excited for this space for what it could be for her exactly that's what literally before we started this what we're talking about and that 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 right there is so big you know? <laughs> Literally a tiny human, they're five years old. There's a lifetime there, right? By the time she is an adult, the, the, the advancement in this space is going to be so grand. And you're putting her in a position to be involved with it since almost the beginning. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like that's like. Well, she. I think that's huge, bro. She already loves. She loves the idea of, of you know of filming. She loves being recorded and. She asked me the other day after watching one of my videos. She she was like, "Daddy, can I make a video?" <laughs> I thought so, that was rad, Tim. I love so it. Cool. it. It's so it, it, it. I love that. Made, it was my proudest moment, I think, so far. It, that's super cool. One of my proudest moments, because because in my eyes, she knows that I'm not making these videos. She knows that other people are seeing these videos. Okay. Okay. So she understands that. She understands because yeah. she watches YouTube videos of yeah yeah. Of, so of, she so she YouTube. understands what YouTube is clearly absolutely. Clearly. So the fact that she wants to make videos and share it with others, you know, is so rad. It's and, awesome. And today she she wanted to practice her speech. Love it. I couldn't. I was like, Love she it. she asked me. She goes, Daddy, what's the speech? Because she saw me writing down some questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she, and, and my daughter's still, you know, she's five, but I try to educate her like she's a normal human being. So you know, I, I told her, I was like, a speech is, a uh, a bunch of words you practice when you want to tell someone something. And she was like, okay. She was like, so why are you doing a speech? I was like, because I'm asking my buddy Tim some questions. And she asked me if she could practice her speech. I thought that was so cute. And she just went off on her little ramble and told me a few things, her name and her bedroom. It was so cute. And I loved I love it. it. And it is awesome because we have this ability. We have this. We are. If you are here, if you're watching this, even if you don't own a wallet, you're still early. Yeah, man. You can... You can look at the stats yeah, right now. You can know. help create and develop this space how you want it to be, you know? Facts. Everyone here has a voice. And that's what's so beautiful about, about Web3. And, and just, just to get back, you know, to the secret sesh and the events that he's throwing and the networking ability that everyone's going to have, it, it is... It is so crucial to remember that when, when you're coming into this space and you're coming in as a digital identity, remember, remember, your digital identity represents who you are in this space. And you can choose that to be whoever. You don't have to dox yourself. You don't have to let people know your real name. You can come in and create an identity of who you want to be that you are too afraid to live out in the real life. And that's what's beautiful here. Totally. I am a very sensitive individual, Okay. I, I will get down on have a heart to heart cry with someone yeah. about some real shit in real life in certain situations that is very hard for me to do because totally. of the of the facade you have to carry yeah no 100 so, so when you come to this secret sesh you know be the real you be yes. who you really want to be 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 the best you you can be because in this in this space it is we is greater than me. And that's how we're all going to thrive here, right? You know? Couldn't agree more. Couldn't so, agree more, man. Man, I'm... Bro, I'm, I'm so fucking stoked that we got to do this. And <laughs> I'm excited, man. <laughs> I want to thank you all, you know, for sitting down. Um, that was a good one. Right? I, yeah, I, I, was solid. I really, think, I really think this was really I good. I think people are going to enjoy watching that. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, if y'all liked it, you know, 
Please leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. Do the things. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to leave a little link in the bottom of the description for y'all to check out his YouTube channel, his NFT, his Literally. Twitch. This guy is everywhere. We Any form content. of social media, content. he's there. He loves to chat it up too. It could be about NFTs, could be about we could just be about life or whatever he yeah. may have on YouTube at the time. 100%. <laughs> this dude's a vibe. So, so thank you all for tuning in. I really hope you enjoyed the program. Until next time, my friends. Peace out and stay safe. Later, guys.